Fortnite Pokemon mystery boxes. Sometimes they're absolutely amazing. Oh, that's actually sick. And other times they're just downright terrible. These are the dirtiest things I've seen in my life. But today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I specifically searched for the smallest Pokemon card mystery boxes that I could find. Now, all these mystery boxes that I purchased were all different prices. So the question today we're going to be answering is, will these small mystery boxes actually pack a punch and have some really good stuff inside? Or are they going to be really bad? Only one way to find out. All right, I say we start off with the $35 mini mystery box. Now, these are all purchased from different sellers on eBay, and I have literally no idea what to expect out of these. But what I do know is the, the packages are really small. There's actually a $100 one that's like this big. That makes me really nervous. But anyway, let's see what's in our first mystery box. And really quickly, before I do that, I wanted to let you know that I'm going to be giving away yet another Paldea Evolved booster box to one subscriber here on the channel. So if you'd like to enter the giveaway, all I have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. All right, and I also decided to start with the cheapest mystery box here. So $35, what is that going to get you exactly? Well, we got a lot of sleep packs. That's actually kind of nice. And then what is this? Piece of cardboard? Okay, we got a random free piece of cardboard. We got another free piece of cardboard. And then, yeah, I think everything that's going to be inside of that is all actually going to be in this bubble wrap. That makes me a little bit nervous, but okay, let's... Let's see what we got. So first off, it looks like we have a Darkness of Blaze sleep pack. All right, not a terrible start here. But remember, this is only $35. So I don't know, you know, how much we can actually expect to get out of just one of these, like, tiny little mystery boxes. But some of them do get kind of expensive. So let's see what we got in our first booster pack here. Vanilla Trap Inch. We got Pantsir and an Aggron Regular Hollow. Next item out. Is it a another one? Oh, it's another one. Another Darkness of Blaze pack. Okay. Let's see if we can get a, an actual hit that's better than a hollow out of our second Darkness of Blaze pack. Let me know which one of these mystery boxes you think is going to have the best stuff inside. Is it the $35 one? Um, I think there's like a $50 one. There might be like a $75 one and then a $100 one. Trap Inch. Pants Seer. Torchic. Oh, non-hollow. All right, next item I think it's going to be Scarlet and Violet. Check out Lane Blister. Not too bad. All right, so the cool thing is the promos that come with these. You guys probably already know about this by now because I've opened these a bunch of times. But the promos that come in here are really cool because of the borders. They're all like sort of like hollow pattern and everything. There's a code card as well, and then there's the Foy Coco coin. All right, let's see if we can get a pull out of our third booster pack here. Remember, code cards don't mean anything on these newer sets. It doesn't matter if it's the white border, the black border. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. We got Professor's Research Regular Hollow. Okay. Oh, uh, this stuff always makes me nervous because you never know what you're going to get. As I say that, we've got three cards that are in top loaders. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do one at a time. Oh. Oh, dude. Wait. That's actually sick. What? There's a there's a, a, an Ultra or Golurk V in here? Are you kidding me? That's actually fire. All right. A Radiant Halucha. Not bad. And then a Lilligant V. <laughs> Dang. We're actually doing really good with this one. I think we got like $27 in value so far. This is like a $15 card near mint, and it, it actually is near mint. It looks like it's pack fresh. That's kind of crazy. Next up, we have an Astro Radiant Sleep Pack. That's pretty solid, too. I like the Sleep Packs, too, because they got that extra layer of cardboard and everything. So, uh, ooh, ooh, wait, was there something peeking? No, wait, I think that was a non-hollow, obviously, because that's in the last slot. Now we're going to see what we get. Okay, Switch Cart. We got a Rowlet, Oshawott, Scyther, Stantler, Gardevoir. We actually do get a, uh, a Trainer Gallery card, and then a Leafeon. All right, doing good. Is this? No way. No way. We got an evolve. This is actually a this is actually a banger uh, mystery box, dude. This is actually crazy. This is actually a good amount more than thirty five dollars in value. I think evolving size packs are like I don't even know loose like that. Maybe like eight dollars or something by now. That's actually that's actually pretty fire. Let's go. This is actually turning out to be really good about the start of this. Scraggy and a sweet coon V. What? I wasn't expecting that. A brilliant star's back now. Dude, we're well over $40 in value on this one. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, all right. I didn't. I really didn't think we were going to start off like that. I was thinking we'd open it and be like 10 bucks and stuff. Uh, that's, that's a good sign, though. Lapras and a Magmore. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are all from different eBay sellers, too. So it's like, we like, you don't know if this one's good, if the next one's going to be terrible. Um, it just kind of depends. But, dude, I'm actually really impressed with this first one. That's really good. Astral Radiance to end it on this last pack here. That's definitely an A-plus, in my opinion, for a $35 mystery box. That was pretty solid. Okay, we got the Fire Energy, Quill Lava, Heavy Ball, Sneasel, Mistrevis, Scyther. Ooh, Frostmoth, another pull. 
and then a shaman. All right, we are stepping up to the $50 mystery box. Hopefully stepping up. I don't know. This could be, you don't know. This could be bad. You just got to see. It's $50, but yeah, it just depends on what's in it. All right, here we go. Oh, man, what is happening now? Wait, what? Hold on. Why Why is this like this? Uh, that's not a good sign. Oh, no. Did we get scammed? No way. Wait, there's stuff in there. They just use this as packaging protection. Okay. Oh, no. Is it just one pack? Or, like, two? Wait, this is this, this is really taking a small mystery box to the next level here. I'm scared on this one. What? Wait, it's definitely a sleeve. No way. We literally just opened one of these for the first time and... Oh, wait, there's actually a bunch of stuff. Okay, okay. Steam Siege, I just opened up one of these for the first time in, like, ever, which is the weirdest thing. Yeah, it's it's the Steam Siege checkout lane. That's kind of funny. And I mean, like, yeah, this is like a $12 thing because you just don't really see them ever. Um, that's cool. Okay, I like that it comes with that Mew coin. It's so weird. I literally just opened up one of these from uh, another video we did opening up. I don't remember what the it was oh it was like fifteen yeah, it was the it was the video if you guys missed it if you want to see stuff that you can open for under fifteen dollars I opened fifteen different items under fifteen dollars and this one was under fifteen dollars uh, we got a Steve Siege pack the cool thing about it is you get this nice packaging you get this really cool Lucario and you get I love this coin this is actually one of the coolest coins you could get it's a big head you I mean what's not to love about that but anyway we got our Steam Siege booster pack let's see what we get out of this. Um, so yeah, we got like $12, $13 in value so far. It's only three from the back because it's Deep Siege X and Y era. But there's definitely a lot less stuff in here. All right, Fungus, Joltik, and an ant. Oh, that's a that's a banger hollow. Look at that. That is such a cool hollow, and it's in Steam Siege. Steam Siege right here, people, okay? Beautiful artworks. Okay, next up, we actually do have a PSA card. What card is it going to be? Oh, it's beat up so bad. Even the case has, like, had a bad time. Oh, there's, like, 5,000 fingerprints on this thing. All right. Let's see. Oh, that's actually sick. It's a first edition base set Machamp. And uh, they have the version that's shadowed, which is, like, you can only have as a Machamp for first edition base, if you guys didn't know that. There's a shadowless version. But anyway, this is definitely beat up. It's probably, like, a... It might be, like, a four or something. Oh, it's a five. It's a five. Okay, first edition Machamp. Okay, so we have like $30 in value total, which means it all comes down to whatever this stuff is. There's a coin there. It's a Charizard coin. There's actually more than one card in here, so that's a good sign. Okay, let's see what we get. Mewtwo V-Star, not bad. Okay, little Pokemon. This is like stuck to me. A little Pokemon Go action. Professor's Research. We got some celebrations for art. We got more celebrations with the Groudon. The Zamazenta V, the Flying Pikachu, and that's the last thing in there. All right, so on that one, I'd say we got about $35 in value. That one was a $50 mystery box. I think the first one's still the best so far. All right, enough messing around. This is the $75 mystery box, okay? There's one more after this at $100. Let's see what $75 gets you on a tiny mystery box off of a seller off of eBay, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, no, that doesn't feel too normal. What is this? What is... What is... Oh, oh, okay. That's a stack of packs right there. We're going to look at that in a second. That's a graded card. What is this? Feels like trash. Oh, it's just sleeves thrown around. And a free hair. Why do I always get free hairs? Every time I buy something off of eBay, I get a free hair. Every time. This is the longest hair that I've ever gotten for free, though. That's crazy. They don't even put it in the description or anything. And, oh, that's it in there. Okay, I'm scared about this. This could be bad. All right, so this right here is pretty much a bunch of nothingness. But it's, uh, I don't know what this Pokeball is from. Victini. It might be from, like, a battle deck or something. Okay, that to the side. Uh, okay, $75. I ain't feeling too good about this one unless there's some banger packs in here. But I see a lot of purple. Why are they just throwing off so many of these sleeves in? I don't need any of those Scarlet Violet sleeves. There are some cards. Maybe we'll look at these first. Okay, never mind. That's a bunch of nothing. This is going to be bad. Oh, my God. Is this going to be a full fusion strike? I think this is, might be a full fusion strike stack. Fusion strike, fusion strike, fusion strike, fusion strike, fusion strike! Oh my god! No! Something tells me this might end up being the worst one so far. They keep getting worse. The $35 one was like actually really good, and like they're just getting worse now. We really need a really nice alt art here. But yeah, we got $15 in value so far out of this $75 mystery box. And on top of all that, there is one graded card, but that. I mean, look, if the graded card is a banger, we might be all right, but I have my doubts. I'm just going to say that. Rule of VMAX, all right? You never know, though. You never know. We need, like, a $60 PSA card, pretty much. 
or like it's fine if it's like 50 bucks or something or like it's got to be it's got to be like a decent graded card though it can't be like we can't be getting a five or ten dollar card that would be that would be straight up scammed on this one 100 percent. i'm scared on this also the other thing that i don't really like with this is that there's no like creativity it's just like oh, i'm just gonna give you five fusion strike packs and a graded card it's like really you can't like like if, I, if it was like a 75 hour mystery box i would be like oh like it gets like some of these maybe a couple different here maybe a couple other cool different things some loose cards uh you know just like a bunch of different stuff if it's like there's no creativity you're like here you go there's five fusion strike packs get out of here it's like okay sick mystery all right yeah mm, okay well that's a bad sign I might as well just fly through this pack uh yeah it's gonna come down to this graded card 100 percent already like it doesn't matter what we pull out of these because it's still you know it is the, like we're just counting what you actually get in the mystery box not the pulls but the pulls will be yeah that'd be great give me something good give me a gengar give me a mew oh. i feel like we're getting progressively worse though 35 was sick the next one down the 51 was not great this one's this, this one's lined up to be terrible right now depending on what this is we might as well just take this thing off of here let's just let's just see what this is all right back back sleeve that looks like a 10 back that's that's a 10 back okay let's see what the front looks like what card it is Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. Okay. That's not a bad card. That's not a bad card. It's a rainbow. It might be a 10 from Darkness of Blaze. That's actually a pretty sick card. Might be a 10, though. I think it might. I think it's a 10. That's got to be a 10. That's a 10. Jump 10, baby. Okay. I wasn't really expecting to have a 10 rainbow in there. That's actually kind of sick. I should have known, though. I like the artwork. It's only $20 card and a 10. I should have known. I should have known why. Oh, man. That was. Yeah, we got. Woo, yeah, we got hosed on that one. That was bad. I mean, it was 30. Uh, we got like $35 of value, basically, total. And it was a $75 mystery box. Eh, yeah, that one was the worst. All right, it all comes down to this. It's it's funny that this one's in a box like this because all the other ones were in envelopes. It's a $100 mystery box. And this is like the mini mystery box here. Just like it's the perfect size box to be a mini mystery box. All right, so let's just open this up. And uh, so there's only certain things that can fit in here. That's that's what scares me. Can packs fit in here? I think so. I think this is like just for to put your cards in. But I, I mean, that might be big enough for packs. I don't know if, like if a graded card could fit in this. I don't I don't know. I don't think so. Like I don't think a graded card's getting in that. No, there's like there's no graded cards in this. All right, let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. Oh man, this one's. Oh no! <laughs> what is this? Oh my god, what is this? What is this? No! They did get a graded card in! They did! It's a CGC card! Oh my god, dude! It looks like somebody's kid like ate this card for breakfast at some point. What is this? Oh my god, dude, it really has been getting worse. Wait. Oh yeah. Okay, PSA one kind of fits in there too. What? Dude, I am scared. We have a stack of cards that like uh oh, actually. Oh, Okay, that's kind of old school. Wait a second. Oh no. Oh no, but there's no packs. There's. Oh my god, all these have boogers and crust on them, bro. What is happening? I don't even want to touch these. They're like dirty. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay, let's start. Off. So look, we do have this. This stuff is kind of. It's cool because it's Wizards of the Coast era, but it's totally like played. It's totally played. So it's like. It's the, yeah, you can, like, it's cool. Like, Sabrina's drowsy, Sabrina's gazing, got a lot of gym challenge stuff, but it's all, like, played. It's all played. It's all played stuff. Great artwork stuff. I remember having these as a kid. Oh, Lieutenant Sergeant's Pikachu. But, like, yeah, like, that's just so, like, the condition's so bad on these. So, like, it obviously makes the value way less. I remember having that card as a kid. I don't like most of these as a kid. Gym challenge. Oh, we got base set two coming up, though. But, yeah, so it's hard to, like, oh, my God, this one's, like, crusted in something. Toro, Stratini, so we got a lot of base two, a lot of gym challenge. Uh, we got a Squirtle in there, Kadabra. This is kind of making me scared. We got some E-Series stuff, surprisingly, a couple. But yeah, just totally beat. I mean, it's just bulk at this point, like played bulk. Swa Blue, reverse. Um, actually, oh yeah, that's really scratched. <laughs> Gloom, Skitty, we got Slowpoke, we got Bagon, we got some Corefish electrodes in there chilling. Magneton. Bloom, Slugma, and a Cubo. This is going downhill so fast. What are we doing here? Oh my God. So like, dude, why are these so dirty? My hands feel dirty. Like, I'm gonna wash my hands after this. Okay. Oh, 
Team Yogurt, but like, dude, what is happening with these sleeves? These are the dirtiest things I've seen in my life. What is happening? Wait, the card? Is the card good? The card is like solid. Wait, why is that in there? It's like so, it's like the most disgusting thing ever. And a free hair. Okay, okay, okay. Zekrom, I gotta like take these out of here. Oh my gosh. Okay, Zekrom. Yeah, like all the modern stuff looks pretty good. I don't know why this is here. Is a random Houndor reverse? <laughs> Hitmon Lee! Okay, from Fossil. Everything is hairy. I don't get it. How does that? Oh no, it's like, it's like, it's like they, they sleeve it upside down. Then it's like half out of the sleeve. Wait. Oh, this one's like actually not terrible. That's actually not terrible. That's, 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 uh, yeah, it's not great, but it's not like the worst. Shadowless Electrode. Okay. Uh, that's definitely played. Definitely played. All right. We got the boss's orders. I feel like I pulled that really recently. Uh, from 2020. And then we do have a Scizor, uh, Black Star promo from Wizards of the Coast era. Is it not in the sleeve? No. No, it's not in the sleeve. How could you? Why? Why are these the worst condition sleeves I've ever seen in my life? Scizor. Okay. Um, this is so bad though. Like, this is not looking too good. I need like a, I need like a $75 card right now, at least. This looks so bad, dude. Look at that. Oh my God. Not only is the sleeve destroyed, but the card is, or like the, the case, I mean, but the card as well. I don't want to look at this thing. What? It's another one, but this, oh, this is the shallowest version. How weird is that? I was talking about that too as the other macho, I'm a champ. Bro, but like, I don't know what happened in this case. I don't know what happened to this card. I got so many questions for all this stuff inside this mystery box. It's covered in just like dirt and grime and hair. <sighs> this might not be too good, but let's see. It's gonna be out to four. It's even less than the other one. Cedric's good. Four on the surface, 4.5 on the corners, and four on the edges. Whoo! Yo, that just got worse and worse and worse and worse every time. <laughs> Since I have them, I guess I'll show you guys. That's Shadowless, that's Shadowed, that's, you can only get Machamp first edition base set as Shadowless. That's actually a thin stamp and that's a thick stamp. If you guys can see the difference there really quickly. See that one's thin, the other one's thick. Um, borders on this one are a lot more like saturated. This one's a lot lighter, like yellow. And yeah, we got, we got hosed on that last one so bad. Like that was the worst of all of them. But yeah guys, there's your mini mystery boxes off of eBay. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, Click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.